The circuit in demo 1 is interesting, but not very useful. It would be great if we could control both the direction and the speed of rotation of our motors, right? That's what we're going to do now. We'll use a potentiometer in two ways. First, when we turn the knob, the motors will turn faster or slower, therefore we'll be able to control the speed. Second, we'll modify our sketch so that with the same potentiometer we can control both the direction of spin and the speed of our motors. This is what the circuit looks like. The only difference to the demo 1 circuit is the addition of the rotary potentiometer. It is connected to the 5 volts and ground columns on the breadboard and to analog pin 0 on the Arduino. Okay, so in this experiment, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, use the circuit we built uh, in the previous demo. We just have a, a Arduino with the uh, motor controller uh, board controlling the two DC motors. What I want to do now is to use a potentiometer so that as I'm turning the potentiometer knob back and forth, the rotational speed of the two motors changes accordingly. So to do that, I'm going to connect the potentiometer to analog pin zero and take readings of analog pin zero and use those readings to regulate the speed of the two motors. So uh, we've seen how to connect the potentiometer in one of the earlier um, lectures. So I'm going to go ahead and connect one pin to five volts, second pin to ground, and the middle pin of the potentiometer will go to analog pin zero. So I'll plug the Arduino into my computer. I've already got the sketch loaded, but I'm going to reload it from the default sketch on my computer. Okay, so as I'm turning the knob, speed decreases, turn it the other way, speed increases, and this is the max that we go to. And so I look at the sketch now. So most of the sketch is identical to what we saw in the previous demo. The difference is that now inside the loop, I am taking a reading of the uh, output of the, the voltage output of the potentiometer from analog pin zero, and uh, then I'm calling this function called move motors, and I'm passing the value that I read from the potentiometer. Inside the move notice function, uh, a single argument is an integer, potentiometer value, port value. Um, I'm mapping this value that uh, is within the range of 0 to 1023, that's the values um, possible in analog pin 0, and I'm mapping whatever value I get within that range in the PWM. Um, range of 0 to 255. Um, we saw earlier that uh, high and high in digital right M1 and M2 represent uh, one of the two possible directions of the shaft of the motor and then the speed is controlled by writing an analog value at pins E1 and E2 which are uh, uh, let's say uh, 5 and 6 digital respectively. So that's all there is uh, in order to control the speed of the motor with the potentiometer. Uh, a little modification I'm going to make is to make it possible so that as I'm turning the knob back and forth, to be able to actually also change the direction of travel of the, uh, of the uh, shafts of the motors. So instead of just traveling a single direction, to be able to have Two directions plus the speed controllable by the same potentiometer. To do that, 
I'm going to modify the content of the move motors um, function so that I'm doing a little test. And if the potentiometer value is less, in this case, than 512, then the rotation is going to go towards one direction. Otherwise, if pot value is above 512 and of course less than uh, 1024, then this is a part of the code that is going to execute and the, um, the rotation is going to be the opposite, going to be low. I've also adjusted the mapping function because of course the ranges now are different so I have to do a little adjustment here in order to take uh, uh, into account the fact that the uh, potentiometer value is um, between 512 and 1024. So if I upload this to my Arduino, we'll see that and now I've got maximum speed towards one direction. I'm going to turn the knob down. Now I've got zero speed. The potentiometer is right in the middle. So I'm turning it continuously towards the same direction. The motors are now starting to spin the opposite way. And that's maximum opposite. So I'll do that again. Potentiometer right in the middle. The motors are now stopped and continuing towards the same direction. The motors now move the opposite direction and that's maximum rotational speed. So there you have it. You now know how to use a potentiometer to control speed and direction of these two motors. You can imagine that instead of a potentiometer, you could have a joystick which uh, will, you'll be able to use to control the speed and the direction of travel of your little uh, vehicle.